the video, today we're going to be doing some... Another mod review. This is going to be a mod based on the Fossum and Archaeology mod. Um, the newest version. Yeah, the newest version. And let's go in. Let's get into it. So... I guess we'll start the archaeology part of it. So these are some statues of different like, animals like skeletons, uh, Enderman, Piglins, Enderman, Enderman, and Steve, and a zombie, and a Piglin, zombie, Steve, yeah, there's different types, a lot. <coughs> <coughs> and if I use uh, this key, it actually goes into the chest and then it opens it. But you can't store this stuff in, it just gives you something automatically. It gives you an ancient clock that you then go over here and put it in. And as you can see, it goes just to fill up this thing up all the way around. So, wait for that. These are some Yeah. Um, this, if you right click on this guy, he. And this is just a normal statue. And if you put the scourge over this and then open it, it opens into uh, an animal. Right click on it. Okay, that's it. I'm also using another one than God Mod. I really like this one. Right click on him, you can go to another world because he drops a king, and then you go to another world. But I wouldn't recommend it because. What the? Okay then, that's kind of it for the archaeology mod. Yeah, basically. Okay, so this is the first thing that's cool. It's a bubble blower. So it needs a redstone circuit, and when you and when it has a circuit, okay, it's bubble blower. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the important stuff. So you, Dinopedia. You click on a dinosaur with it. It shows dinosaur stats. This is what you need to grow dinosaurs. This is something from an archaeology mod, actually. There you go. And the sword. It's pretty cool. Basically, the same as an iron, same as a helmet. When you put it on, you get like a cool effect thing. When you get this dinosaurs, they grow. That's pretty cool. When you put, and then you put the bio goo in here, which I've already got some in there, as you can see. Then you put an embryo. Uh, so. Got one. And a DNA for something. Alright, for example, the floor swap to do that. Thing. Put that in there. As you can see, great light, and you can see embryos in there. So cute. Got a bit of luck. There you go. Look how cute he is. Uh, uh, yeah. And then if you put this in the analyze, you can get plant stuff. That's pretty cool. But if you put these in the analyzer, you'll get normal dinosaurs. And if you put these in the sifter, You'll get the. Uh, that's how you get these. The archaeology thing is pretty simple if you have a broken one, because these come broken from villagers, but pay archaeologists, you can get them broken. And then you need relic scraps to fix them. I haven't used this in a while, so bear with me. It takes a while, but they do get fixed. And then there's this really thing, really cool, uh, rare thing that drops from a fossil block. This is what they look like. Hang on. There you go. They're really similar to stones. You have to keep a really good eye out. So let's go over here. Really similar. Very similar. But it's a really rare drop. You can get a scarab gem. Scour of gem. There you go. One of these bad boys. Which you can make use to make these six item uh, tools. 
Can't make armor, sadly. But let me show you how you craft them. It's the exact same, but just plus. Uh, just plus a sword. So I have the golden diamond sword, you add them. And that's the same for all of them. And then to make this aquatic scout gem, you need Dominic Dominic Dominican Amber plus the scout gem. So, and the tame says it once. So let me show you. So scout gem. The scout gem tames big animals, normal animals, like T-Rex, for example. Gently give him a one. There you go. So one HP. Then you give him the scarab gem. Oh, there you go. Now if I get the Dinopedia, I'd have to get it. Just go on. You know, just left click, and there you go. Own HP Chapman. He's happy. And then it shows you over here what they eat, and then if you scroll, what they like, to, uh, what they like their thing. And this guy's at age 12 because he's an adult male. Wait, is he an adult male? Yeah, he's an adult. He's a male because you spawned him. That's what the scarf gems are used for, like big normal animals. But the aquatic scarf gem is used for others, etc. Like Spinosaurus. And then it came to you. And it's a. Uh, and actually, I forgot to do it with Rexy, but the Spinosaurus you can watch. You can ride both of them. Rexy and the Spinosaurus is really cool. You just ride them both. And the Spinosaurus, what's cool about the Spinosaurus is that it could do both. It can also swim. So that's pretty cool. But you have to have a whip in order to actually ride her. And they actually follow things. So this one just needs a skull. To be obeyed, so then you could stay in and etc. And stuff like that. Ah, there we go. But it doesn't actually work because the time machine doesn't work. So you have to have it. It's coming soon. It will come into a new version. And these task lines that spawn from the task pit that are in the fossil archaeology mod, they spawn next to this tent dude with an archaeologist. There he is. Over here. Paleontologist. Pretty cool. Get good stuff out of him. I'm just locked him in the iron cage just for you guys. Uh, and they these spawn after the time. There you go. And they drop these, which can into the thing. The, uh, the analyzer, yeah. um, uh, the feeder. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. Got some stuff. In there. there you go. It's repaired. And the feeder, how it works is, these are just some examples, but basically you put wheat in this side, the green side, and you put, I don't know, beef or something, whatever you want, in there, and then it'll fill up, and it, the amount of, the limited amount of 10,000, and then, it's quite realistic, because you need, for the egg, you actually have to have a torch, so it actually need to get warm, not, not that many, but I've just done that to show you guys. And we got the egg, there you go, egg, what's up egg, clever girl, I like that, place it down, it's cold, right, oh, flip, broke the feeder, Actually, raptors can climb in this because they're their paleontology, uh, pain, they're their accurate ones. How are you cold? What? Got to place a torch right on you? Eh? I've literally done this. Oh, there you go. Reset. Mother clear.
Boom. Ah, uh, you want to make sure it's warm, because if it's not warm, then it won't work. And it does say when the, um, when the dinosaur hatches. That's pretty cool. Nice way to be. That's that. I just need to put some food in there, because that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty simple stuff. Um, these are the paintings. Actually, no. Yeah, these are archaeology paintings that came with it. And these are archaeologists, like, cool painting archaeology class. Bricks, stairs. Uh, some cool paintings. I love it. Look, there's the dude. Mammoth, saber tooth. There you go. Pretty simple. Then these are some discs. So this is fossil record. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of just that. And then there's some other ones. Legend of the Scarab. Anyway, but I'll let you leave. It. I'll leave you. Uh, leave it up to you to listen to those. Uh, this is the armor, skull armor, pretty bone armor. Sorry, same thing. That's pretty cool. I think it's like, yeah, it's iron armor basically. That's what it basically is. Basically, iron armor. But cooler. Pretty simple. And then over here is the last thing to show you before I leave. Oh, wait, never mind. This is a ball. So if you have these three things, this is a scratch post for them to play with. Oh, no, I'm thinking about that. I might want that. Uh, a feathered log so that they could scratch about. And then a ball they could play with that actually works. That's pretty cool. Uh, for the. Oh, he's hatching, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There you go. And he's hatched. Oh, he broke the scratch resistance immediately. And then if you actually give him chicken essence, wait, did I keep that on me? I did not. How annoying. There is a recipe for chicken essence. Like, I don't think it used to be, but there is now. There you go. That's an adult. And yes, they can climb. So it's best if you're gonna have the Velociraptors, keep them in a safe pen. And then, over here we have dinosaurs, basically. Uh, hang on. Oh my, what is going on here? Hold up, wait a minute, something's not right. I'm missing some eggs. I don't know, we'll find out. So this is a cultivated chicken egg, basically just a chicken. This is a Nautilus, Teocanthus, Alligator, Sturgeon, Parrot, I don't know what it's called. Here's some more. We have the Unphalestes. Big time there. Let's some of them. I can move, but convert them quickly, actually. Yeah, 
Also Megalodon actually. The guy that only has This is just really from how I get the story. Looks a bit naked. But uh fine. Of course we got some I quite wild, like there are some we've already seen, so I probably won't show. But uh I'll try and show some stegosaurus. Oh yeah, don't underestimate, uh... Hang on. I really wouldn't underestimate... Oh, what's his name? Sakurasukas' size. Yeah, I messed up badly when that happened. Just don't mess it up. Their size is absolutely ma massive. I think this is most of them. Quagga, you can actually put a saddle on the right. There's a quagga left, I can show you. Uh, yeah, safely. It literally acts as a horse, you have to tame it. Tame it. Tame it. Tame it. Tame it! Go, oi, don't be rude to me. Thank you. Put a saddle on Earth food. Probably gonna get roundhouse smacked in the middle. I can't kill the Nautilus because it's got a shell. That's hilarious. Target acquired, procedural damage. Target acquired, die. Uh, I think that's been it for today's video. This is just chaos. Uh, Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and if you want more uh more videos then you can comment down below and for now I'll see you later. Goodbye.